now for this one. So that's a pot that you've already. Yeah, that's right. You've already made it, but it Just hasn't been in the kiln yet, or has yeah, it? Yeah, this one is already finished. It's a raw piece, but once it's uh, fire painted and fired, it will turn that color right there. Okay. So do you paint them before you put them in the kiln? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, here, I'll show you how it's done. And where do you get these paints from? Well, we have to dig them out of the ground. The black spinach that you see right here is a plant. And that's and, what you're using right uh, now? You have to pick the, the wild spinach, cut it up and boil it until it turns into a black tar. And then that's what makes your black paint. Then you use your yucca, yucca brush. That's just a tiny little brush, huh? Uh-huh. About how long does it take you, the whole process, when you first start molding the clay until you're finished with the pot? I say about a couple of days mm -hmm. to finish the piece. And that, of course, doesn't include the time that it takes to, to paint, get the to well, get it fire paint it. <laughs> and to get the clay and to make the to make the paints, which also takes a number of hours. Besides the black paint, what are some of the other colors that you use? Uh, yellow, the yellow, the okra, or the sandstone, yellow sandstone. And so you've got white. Slip makes the white pot once it's fired. Uh, okay. Yeah, you put it on and polish it. And how about that, um, the reddish color, the, the brown that you use? Is it, that's the color it comes out. Oh, that's, that's the yeah. yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, see? Oh. Uh. The corrugation is a very old style. When you make the corrugation, you start from the bottom, and you coil it all the way to the top. And once you finish, you can see where it's ended right there from the bottom to the right there. Oh, uh, yeah. How do you make that? Um, I could, let me see if I can make 